Hey guys, so it's day one. So we'll be leaving in a bit and we'll be leaving for Kobe from Beppu and I'm almost done packing and it's around 5.11 now and our train's at 5.50 a.m. It's gonna be a 12 hour train ride which is long but we have packed a lot of things and my room's a mess right now but I'll fix it after I'm back and I'm taking this backpack which fits almost everything and I wanted to take this tripod of mine so that I could take um, time lapses but sadly it's too big so probably I'll drop it and maybe just use the handle one that I'm taking now so let's head out as you can see the sun is about to rise and we're heading out and it looks beautiful and hopefully it's a beautiful day today so it's too dark to see but I'm heading to the station which is about less than 10 minutes from my house so I'm going there early to find out if the trains all good so we have to change train seven times on our way and um, the first stop is a place called Yanagi Gaura I'm sure I pronounced it wrong but it's gonna take one hour to go there and then switch trains for the next station let's go so there's absolutely no one at the station there will be some kids coming because they go to school from here but right now it's kinda empty so I'm glad I can take some shots and wait for the train Maybe we'll go out of the station and see how it is. Let's go. So this is also a really big station. And we might go to Yoakuni Coffee. Looks good. Let's see how it is. As you 
could see, I mean, you want you have any coffee, which is a coffee store here at the station. And uh, I ordered the mango juice, but they didn't have it. I ordered the coffee, the special Yorkuni coffee, and it will be five minutes late. But I have 40 minutes here, and I can look around, and this is the view of the city. And so, let's see how the coffee is. So, this is the Yorkuni coffee. For the past few months, I have been drinking black coffee because before that I used to drink a lot of sugar and milk, but now I just drink it black. So hope it tastes good. And after this, we are gonna go to the next station, visit Ozaki. So let's have the coffee and then go out. So this is the next train. So we are going to Itozaki now, and it's gonna be I think 90 minutes and then we go on the next train so this is a bit different but there's more space so let's get in we're still on the train to Togaki it's been almost two hours there's a nice view and hopefully we'll reach in about 15 minutes and then we hop on the next train. I think we have four, four more hours till we reach Kyoto. So I'm a bit tired, but hopefully we'll reach on time. So we arrived at Itozaki. As you can see, it's a beautiful station, and our next train is 10 minutes in 10 minutes. And it's gonna be the longest train, three hours. So let's get to the train and move to the next destination. Sky Tower. Let's see how that goes. But finally, after 13 hours, we are on the final train. Let's go. One cool thing about this station is that there's a Iki Soba place just in between the platforms. So if you want to grab some food, this is the place to go. Finally, after 12 hours of train ride, we are here in Kobe and we are going to the Ferris wheel to see the night view from up above in Kobe. So let's go and then we are going to go to the hotel, check in and prepare for tomorrow. But for now, let's go to the Ferris wheel. Let's go inside and see how the view is. Italian restaurant. The others were too expensive. The Kobe beef it's like 5,000 and more. So let's see how this Italian restaurant <laughs> Kobe beef that we really wanted to have, it's kind of expensive, maybe we'll have it tomorrow. 
tomorrow there's a ramen place that's cheap. But for today, this Italian restaurant we're gonna have pizza and pasta. After that, we go to the hotel. We plan tomorrow. So today was just a half day in Kobe. Tomorrow we have a full day in Kobe. We're gonna go to a zoo, a museum, and a few more places. So let's have dinner and let's go to the hotel and we can talk. <music> done with dinner this was the place it's really beautiful now we'll go to Kobe station take the train and it's a 10-15 minute ride to our hotel our guest house so let's go and see how that place is <laughs> This is the guest house. It's called Maya. So this is the hotel. We are on the third floor. And here is the sink. And there is a toilet here but this is Really good looking. There's an antique closet also. So good. Gonna rest here till morning and maybe head out at 8 a.m. And this has been the day one of my graduation trip. After 12 hours of train rides, we reached Kobe. We went to the Ferris wheel and finally we're at the guest house. I'm probably gonna go out, but I'm also gonna edit this video so that I can upload it tonight. So thanks for watching the video, hope you guys liked it, although it was just train rides but I really learned a lot that when you go to train rides within Japan, the local cities, you get to see a lot of Japan, the nature, and I am someone who loves to admire nature a lot, so it was a great experience for me. So let's see how it is tomorrow, so tomorrow we are going to explore Kobe, different things in Kobe, after that late night we are going to be off to Osaka. So see you on the next video, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.